Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 10 on two dimensional random variables. In this lecture, we are going to discuss one more question which was asked in GTU winter 2020 examination. So we start with this question. The joint probability density of two random variables is given by this function of x1 and x2. So this function is non-negative. Its value is 6 times e raised to minus 2x1 minus 3x2 for x1 and x2 positive and it is 0 elsewhere. Find the marginal densities of both the random variables and show that the two random variables are independent. So first we find out marginal densities of x1 and x2 and then we will see that how to show that random variables are independent. So first we write down the definition we know that the marginal probability density function or simply marginal density of random variable x1 is given by f of x1 equal to integral of joint pdf with respect to x2 over all possible values of x2 that is x2 is from minus infinity to infinity now before uh, integrating this uh, first we notice that if x1 is mm, less than or equal to 0 then f of x1 will be 0 because this uh, density function is non-zero only if x1 and x2 both are positive so if x1 is less than or equal to 0, this density function uh, is going to be 0. Uh, so this we are doing for positive x1. So for x1 positive, uh, we are doing this. If x1 is less than or equal to 0, then this is going to be 0. And now here also function is non-negative for positive values of x2. So here we can replace these limits by 0 to infinity because in minus infinity to 0 value of density function f of x1 x2 is 0. Now if x2 is positive uh, value of uh, this joint pdf is given as e raised to minus 2 x1 minus 3 x2 integration is with respect to x2. So because we are integrating this with respect to x2, we will consider x1 as constant. So this 6 into e raised to minus 2x1 will be considered as constant. So we can rewrite this function as 6 times e raised to minus 2x1 times e raised to minus 3x2 integral is with respect to x2. So now this uh, 6 into e raised to minus 2x1 as it is integral of e raised to minus 3x2 is e raised to minus 3x2 divided by coefficient of x2 which is minus 3 here. Limits are for x2 from 0 to infinity. Here we can cancel out this minus 3 with 6 and we have minus 2 times e raised to minus 2x1 e raised to minus 3 x2 x2 takes the values from 0 to infinity so now first we put x2 as infinity this remains as it is so here e raised to minus 3 into infinity that is infinity and minus minus plus we put x2 equal to 0 so we can write one more step we have e raised to 0 for x2 equal to 0. Now e raised to minus infinity is 0 so this terms becomes 0 and e raised to 0 is 1 so we have 2 times e raised to minus 2 x1. So if x1 is positive value of marginal density is 2 times e raised to minus 2 x1. And uh, for x1 is less than or equal to 0, it is 0. So we can combine these two cases and we can write that 
marginal density of random variable x1 is f of x1 equal to 2 times e raised to minus 2 x1 if x1 is positive and 0 elsewhere that is if x1 is less than or equal to 0. In this same way we find out marginal density of another random variable x2. So the marginal density of random variable x2 is given by f of x2 here in this suffix we write x2 here we have to integrate with respect to x1 and limits are from minus infinity to infinity now here also there are two cases that x2 is positive as well as x2 is less than or equal to 0 now if x2 is less than or equal to 0 then we know that density function is 0 so for x2 less than or equal to 0 uh, this f of x2 is going to be integral of 0 with respect to x1 and that is always 0. So this is obvious, this case is obvious if x2 is less than or equal to 0, joint pdf is 0, therefore marginal density of x2 is 0 for each x2 which is less than or equal to 0. So we will find out marginal density for positive values of x2 only because for negative values it is always 0. So here we write that for x2 greater than 0 f of x2 is now x1 if x1 is positive then only this uh, this is non-negative so we here consider 0 to infinity and value of joint density is e raised to minus 2 x1 minus 3 x2 here we have 6 this is given and we integrate this with respect to x1 because if x1 is less than or equal to 0 uh, this f of x1 x2 is 0 therefore we integrate from 0 to infinity now here while integrating with respect to x1 we have to treat x2 as constant so for that uh, we can rewrite this as e raised to minus 2 x1 e raised to minus 3 x2 we integrate with respect to x1 and we will consider x2 as constant so here 6 and uh, this e raised to minus 3 x2 are constant so we keep them as it is integral of e raised to minus 2 x1 is e raised to minus 2 x1 divided by coefficient of x1 which is minus 2 and limits of x1 are from 0 to infinity so here we can cancel out minus 2 with 6 and we have minus 3 times e raised to minus 3 x2 times e raised to minus 2 x1 and limits of x1 are from 0 to infinity so if we consider x1 equal to infinity we have minus 3 times e raised to minus 3 x2 as it is here we have e raised to minus 2 into infinity which is infinity minus minus plus if we consider x1 equal to 0 we have e raised to minus 0 that is e raised to 0 now e raised to minus infinity is 0 so this term has no contribution and e raised to 0 is 0 so we have 3 times e raised to minus 3 x2 so this is marginal density of random variable x2 if x2 is positive and if x2 is less than or equal to 0 this is 0 so therefore uh, we can combine both the cases the marginal density of random variable x2 is f of x2 
equal to 3 times e raised to minus 3 x2 if x2 is positive and 0 elsewhere that is if x2 is less than or equal to 0 so we have completed first part of our question we have to find out marginal densities of both the random variables so we have completed up to this now we have to show that that these two random variables x1 and x2 are independent so we have uh, find out marginal densities of both the random variables and we know that uh, if we consider product of marginal densities of x1 and x2 and if this product is equal to joint pdf of x1 and x2 for all possible values of x1 and x2 then random variables x1 and x2 are independent so now we try to find out this product and we check whether this uh, and we have to show that this condition is satisfied because it is already given that random variables are independent we have to prove that random variables are independent so this product must be equal to joint density function so now we find out product of marginal densities so now uh, marginal density of x1 times marginal density of x2 so here we have two possibilities that if x1 is positive and x2 is positive uh, we have different values for marginal densities and if x1 is less than or equal to 0 x2 is less than or equal to 0 both the densities are 0 so for x1 positive uh, we can see this marginal density is 2 into e raised to minus 2 x1 so first we write that marginal density 2 into e raised to minus 2 x1 this is marginal density of x1 if x1 is positive and marginal density of x2 is 3 times e raised to minus 3 x2 if x2 is positive and if x1 is less than or equal to 0 or x2 is less than or equal to 0 this uh, marginal densities are having value 0 for x1 less than or equal to 0 or x2 less than or equal to 0 marginal densities are 0 so here we write 0 now this we can combine 2 into 3 is 6 we can rewrite e raised to minus 2 x1 into e raised to minus 3 x2 as e raised to minus 2 x1 minus 3 x2 and this is for x1 positive and x2 positive and 0 elsewhere so we can see this is nothing but our given joint density function f of x1 x2 and this is true for all possible x1 and x2 so therefore we have shown that joint density of x1 and x2 is nothing but product of marginal densities of x1 and x2 for all possible values of x1 and x2 so therefore we can say that random variables x1 and x2 are independent ok so here we have completed our answer this is very easy question you just have to remember the definitions of marginal densities and definition of independent random variables so we can just recall that what we are using here we are using the definitions of marginal densities of random variable x1 and random variable x2 for marginal density of x1 uh, we have to integrate joint density with respect to x2 and for marginal density of random variable x2 we have to integrate joint density with respect to x1 and limits are from minus infinity to infinity 
so if you are interested in the marginal density of random variable x1 integrate with respect to x2 and if you are interested in the marginal density of x2 integrate joint density with respect to x1 so remember in this way if we have x1 integration is with respect to x2 if we have x2 integral is with respect to x1 and random variables are independent if joint density is product of marginal densities of x1 and x2 and this must be true for all values of x1 and x2 okay so this is all about this lecture i hope you like it thank you very